Audi TT Ad Videos First Generation, 1999 through 2006, compiled by Rick Glesner. A notice before watching. We've become spoiled by modern digital media. Note that these videos are vintage from the late 1990s. Think of this as a trip back in time to the release of the first generation TT. Section 1, 8 TT ads. Section 2, Audi TT Coupe dealer introduction. Section 3, Audi TT unleash it. Section 4, Freeman Thomas TT sketches. I think I just had a wake up call. And it was disguised as a car. And it was screaming at me not to get too comfortable and fall asleep and miss my life. It's time I traveled lighter and threw away my maps and made up for the seriousness of my youth with a little madness. myself in the sound of the engine and watch the white lines on the road shoot by me like a million comets. Und seine Kurven versetzten 1998 so manchen in Verzückung.
TT Coupe highlights Audi's emerging image as the new definition of prestige by creating a range of pure, passionate sports cars that reflect the unmistakable badge of Audi. The new TT Coupe is authentic, radically different, innovative, honest, functional, passionate. The TT Coupe reaches for the heart and has been called an unabashed object of desire, something that frees a driver from everyday constraints by latching onto the classic sports car idea. The TT pulls away the layers of cliché that have encrusted themselves over the modern sports car. This is what it means to be an Audi. The TT's exterior of steel skin envelops a permanent state of tension. It's designed deeply personal. Think of it as an expression of purposeful function, an aesthetic reward within itself. Inside, the TT celebrates the forgotten pleasure of functional honesty, a visual feast where everything looks and feels like it was handcrafted. The materials are of the highest quality, including highly crafted aluminum controls and components. To help you with an early start on the product knowledge surrounding the TT, Let's review the following walk-around segment of this exciting new model from Audi. Made for passionate automobile drivers, the new Audi TT Coupe. A futuristic concept, a concentrated form. Clean lines, its design triggers emotions, embodies dynamics and achievement, and promises the joy of driving just standing there. Through racing experiences, the engineers from Audi achieved a drag coefficient of 0.34, measured in a rolling floor wind tunnel to check underbody drag. What is gained by a smooth skin can be undone by a rugged floor panel. That's why the whole underside of the TT is completely enclosed. Here, the motor encapsulated for the enhancement of the airflow. Interfering air turbulence at the wheels is being reduced by integrated front and back spoilers. Furthermore, a panel covering the fuel tank results in good aerodynamics. An outstanding example of Audi's turbo competence is being presented by the 1.8 liter, 180 horsepower engine for the TT. Beneath the curved hatchback lid, the Audi TT Coupe offers a surprisingly large and versatile luggage compartment. The fold-down back seat is divided in the center. Incidentally, the back seat bench allows seating for children up to a height of 5 feet. Besides the standard airbags for driver and front passenger, the Coupe is the first Audi vehicle that has the option of disconnecting the passenger airbag. It can be deactivated with the car key through a switch in the glove compartment. In case of a side collision, the head thorax airbags protect the body from the head to the rib cage. The interior space of the Audi TT Coupe distinguishes itself through the sensuousness of the details. All instruments on the instrument panel are trimmed in aluminum. The design is sporty and functional. The movements of the gear shift levers are short and swift. The 180 horsepower variant has a five-speed manual transmission. The color scheme coordinates with the color of the vehicle. Color choices are denim blue, silver metallic, and brilliant black. What the outside design promises, the interior confirms. The Audi TT Coupe is a sports car of the future. Straight lines and circular forms, aluminum and leather, the combination is perfect and not only emanates functionality, but also the highest degree of aesthetics. For example, these push buttons are a feast for the eyes. The switches for the heated seats jump out at the lightest touch. While turning them, the number of lighted dots change, showing the current temperature. Behind this cover is a panel with three switches. To unlock the gas cap, open the hatchback lid, and deactivate the passenger compartment alarm system. A manual emergency unlocking device for the hatchback lid is found behind this cover in the center console, in the event that the regular locking device fails. 
The same is true for the emergency latch for the gas tank, which is located at the right side of the luggage compartment. Simply pull the steel cable in the direction of the arrow. Also on the right side of the luggage compartment is the first aid kit. It can be easily removed. The warning triangle can be removed just as quickly and easily. It's located beneath the loading edge cover. Design follows function. The adjustment of the airflow is done by turning the aluminum rings at the air vents, putting the fingertips into the depressions on the knob. The operating elements for the outside mirrors and the central locking system are in the driver's door. The rocker switch for the electric window regulator is where your hand lands automatically, on the inside door handle. Easy handling of the doors was achieved by the side windows going down a few centimeters as the doors being opened and automatically going back up into the closing position while locking the vehicle. Unusual but more user friendly is the location of the filler neck of the windshield washer fluid. It's located on top of the inside of the left fender. The Audi TT, destined to be a classic, in a class all by itself. TT defines its own niche. There's not another car like it. I think what the TT does is, it, is it's representative of what Audi's about, but it's done in a way, it's like Audi with the volume on 10. It's, it's Audi to the max. This comparison video asks us to set aside what we know, that the TT is incomparable. Why? Because your clients will shop elsewhere. So you need to have the facts, and chances are, they'll be looking at the Porsche Boxster, the Mercedes-Benz SLK, and the BMW Z3, just as the press is. We'll look at the TT as it fits into the marketplace, and how it differs from the crowd. We'll look at the specifics of each car. See what the press and Audi designers have to say. And hear from some Audi brand specialists who had a unique opportunity to experience these cars and share their opinions. Let's get started. The TT embodies form and function. Simple, honest, and pure, owing greatly to the thinking of the famous Bauhaus and other prominent design movements. The TT is quite compact, yet still maintains exciting lines and powerful proportions. The body appears taut on the frame. Body curves reflect the geometrical wheel arch cutouts. Design engineers even created a new technique called laser brazing to create a seamless joint between the C-pillar and the tail. On the TT, for example, the laser brazing was a necessity because what the designer wanted was intersections which were almost just like a corner, like if you milled it in a machine or on a lathe. Compared to some competitors, TT has a more motorsports-oriented look and understated design. No large logos, unnecessary vents, or other design gimmicks. Designers sculpted the car using an approach that values pure shapes without distractions. The wheels are a focal point for the visual theme. The wheels are cast aluminum and created solely for the TT. The TT has a sophisticated mechanical specification, but it is the car's styling that really separates it from its competitors and establishes fresh aesthetic parameters for a vehicle in its class. How will this group of brand specialists position the TT's exterior features with their clients? Let's listen in as they discuss using what they've learned today to set the TT apart from its perceived competition. But uh, the Audi engineers were allowed to, to be very creative in the design and it's one of the few cars ever in history to reach production without many changes mm -hmm. and um, it's, it's just a beautiful design. Outside wise, you know, look at the wheels. Damn, those things are gorgeous. They're stuck way out to the end of the car so that it makes it, you know, it actually makes it ride and handle like it's 
three feet longer than it actually is. And it's a very unique looking car that uh, turns heads and is very appealing. Well, whizzing by people on the freeway, you get this. What was, what was that? What was yeah. that? <laughs> yeah, and all the time. Like the outside, the inside of the TT pays homage to motorsports tradition. It's pure and honest in form and function. Creators of the latest Porsche 911 would kill to have an interior as trick and imaginative as this new TT's. Inside, the TT is perhaps the most artfully designed car in its class. Well, when I start out on the project, we, we look at the demographics and the psychographics of our buyer. And interestingly enough, I don't need to go into all the specific details of that, but interestingly enough, our buyers are very individualistic people. They don't necessarily have the same agenda as their neighbor. They're not buying the car because the neighbor has it <clears throat> or because it's a status symbol. Um, I think ultimately Audi is a status symbol. It has its own status. But these people are very unique individuals. I think with the uh, TT interior, the whole goal is this kind of like, down to the driving business uh, feeling. It was, had to be pure, it had to be honest and, and focused. It was a driving interior. Materials to me, um, again, I, there's not much sizzle to it. It's, a, it's an okay, comfortable car, but there's just not uh, much in the way of it being eye, eye appealing. Kind of plain. Inside is definitely the BMWs are uh, kind of noted for that, though. They're kind of plain, austere. There. Yeah. It's still simple. A little more retro. Yeah. It's very clean. Typical German design. Uh, it's classic. Not a lot too. of fanfare. The way the instrument panel on this, it's part of its reminiscent of, reminiscent of the Porsche. You've got the lighter colored instrument panel. You don't really have brushed chrome. Uh, you do have some chrome pieces. It is a little more updated looking. Looking at the inside of it, it's just a lot more appealing, at least to me, than it is to sit in some of the others. It's just put together a little, it's not so haphazard. Uh, this one has angular polished aluminum, like on the dash there. It's just something that you've never seen in a car before. The way they put the car together, I mean, the, the aluminum, the retro look, the clean styling, one piece on the uh, dashboard. It's just a very, very, very neat looking car. In size, the TT falls within the range defined by its German competitors, Boxster, SLK, and Z3, with a wheelbase of 95.6 inches and an overall length of 159.1 inches. It feels roomier inside than any of them, however, particularly when the child-only rear seat is folded. As you can see, the TT has a major advantage when it comes to traveling. The trunk is substantially larger than the SLK, Z3, or Boxster. It's also lined with high-quality upholstery. Can we get the golf clubs? Well, it's definitely not going that way. And it's definitely not... Wait, I know how we can do it. Golf clubs fit. There you go. <laughs> golf clubs, man. That's the top priority, golf clubs. Uh, it's not even going to try. It's not going to work. It's even smaller than the Z3. I can get my golf shoes in there. And you do have one in the front, too, but it it's not much bigger, I don't think. And putting the top down doesn't have any effect on the trunk. Now, you can get grocery bags in there, three of them. Tall ones. have to have this pulled in order to put the top down. So without even trying, it's quite obvious that the golf clubs aren't going to fit in the trunk if you have the top down. Uh, with the top up, you might be able to wedge them in there somehow, but let's see if they fit. They fit, but barely. If you hit a bump real hard like that, you're going to snap a club head. With this being having the two rear seats, which I don't believe any of the others have, that gives you the option to land that seat down, which I believe is going to make our golf club thing 
Well, it's kind of the benefit easy. of a hatch, almost, the way it's designed. You get the seats down, and even if it's just one of the seats down, the clubs will fit in there nicely. And you have room for luggage. Um, or your other golf shoes. Your other golf shoes, your buddy's golf clubs, whatever you want to put. But those seats being there just opens up a lot more space for cargo, golf clubs, so forth, so on. The TT not only looks like a fine sports car, it's engineered to drive like one. Within this segment of the sports car market, only the TT offers five valves per cylinder and an efficient compact turbocharger with intercooler. Most importantly, the TT offers a broad torque band for the ultimate in offline and passing acceleration. Peak torque arrives early at 1950 RPM and remains at that level to 4700 RPM. With a specific horsepower of 100 per liter, the TT's engine produces a lively throttle response. The Triple K Type K03 turbocharger is relatively small with a lower impeller mass. This allows for a quicker response time and reduces turbo lag time. Can the TT with its smaller engine actually outperform its rivals? It boasts an impressive 0 to 60 time of 7.4 seconds. But this is a very aggressive set of competitors. Let's find out how TT fared with our brand specialists. When you put your foot in it and call for it to, to respond, it's there, it's tight, it's nimble, and it's definitely fun to drive. That combination is what isn't in the other vehicles either. And I said this just a minute ago, but the Mercedes is like driving a Mercedes. Uh, you Definitely take an exit ramp, you do whatnot, you don't have the handling, it's, it's got the ride, but it doesn't have the performance. A little more body roll. Exactly. And the boxer, just on the flip side, is all the performance and doesn't have the ride. New turbochargers that they're using, um, the KO3, or the Type KO3, is a smaller turbocharger that uh, produces more pressure more quickly, uh, so you're, you're preventing turbo lag. Anytime you get into a turbocharged car, you're experiencing turbo lag, and, and it's, it's difficult for people to drive. Turbo lag can result in torque steer, among other things. And with this car, it's just a, a smoother uh, turbo transition. There's not as much turbo lag, which is a real key to their success. Compared to the others, it's the base car, and it performs as well as most, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, definitely. the Porsche is going to have a little more power, obviously. But it's, it's geared for a little different uh, But this feel. is still more usable. Yeah. I mean, every day, you, that's difficult to drive every day. It's just too hard-edged. You know, this is something that every day you can get in, be happy, get to work, drive to work, you know, go home the back way. It's kind of like a sports car on demand. Right. Because it, it, it has somewhat of a sports car feel in just normal driving. But if you want to get on it, it, it will... Very quick. Yeah. It's very will. agile. While engine design is critical to overall performance, it is not the only factor to consider. The short wheelbase, wide track, low center of gravity, and large wheels will also help make TT quite agile. And in terms of aerodynamics, what they've accomplished on the, you know, anytime you have a performance car, you've got to let it breathe. It has to be able to cool the engine and, and cool the oil. And the way you do that is with air and Audi's uh, research with the aviation. Um, the air inlets that they have underneath the car that's basically the engine cover is functional. It's pulling air in to cool the engine as well as cool the oil. And that's a real key to, to the longevity of the engine. Each of these cars offers a sport-oriented five-speed manual transmission. The SLK also comes with a five-speed automatic with a special winter mode for slippery conditions that starts in second gear. The Boxster offers a five-speed Tiptronic configuration and the Z3 can be equipped with an automatic four-speed with overdrive. Well, the throws in the Boxster when you're shifting it, uh, it just doesn't shift as smoothly. As the TT, you got a little different throw. Um, this is an easier car to drive. Um, you don't have to be a race car driver to be able to drive this car. It's, it's just an easy car to get in and have fun with. Let's look at the traction control systems of each of the contenders. The Boxster couples the ABS 5.3 braking system with optional ASR traction control, also known as anti-slip regulation. 
ASR uses a combination of braking and or engine torque reduction until the slipping wheel regains traction. A switch is provided to turn this function off. The SLK230 also utilizes ASR. The Z3's all-season control plus traction system is BMW's version of ASR, operating in a similar fashion. The Mercedes-Benz SLK, BMW Z3, and Porsche Boxster are all rear-wheel drive. Only TT comes with standard front-wheel drive. Even before considering traction control systems, the TT's front-wheel drive system has an added traction advantage. With ASR, this only enhances the TT's traction control. As an Audi, the TT is also equipped with the Audi Advantage, providing standard three-year 50,000-mile no-charge scheduled maintenance, a three-year 50,000-mile limited new vehicle warranty, a 12-year limited warranty against corrosion perforation, and roadside assistance for three years. While the Boxster, SLK, and Z3 may hang their hats on the length of their warranties in years, in most instances, they cover the same amount of road miles as the TT. That means anyone driving around 17,000 miles a year will not benefit in most cases from their extended time frames. Every client can benefit from Audi's no-charge scheduled maintenance. Remember to make a strong case for the Audi Advantage. The TT defies the competition by defining its own sports car niche. Everyone seems to be talking about this revolutionary car. When it's your turn, what will you say? Well, I guess to simply put is just drive it. Drive it, that tells the whole story. It's actually got different angles that don't look funny. And they give it the aggressive look put dollars aside, drive all four of them at exactly the same price, and I think you're going to find nine out of ten people are going to come to this one. Definitely. If you would like to know more about Freeman Thomas, please see Barquetta's short biography about him on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this trip into the past. The RTT 8N to Insiders was a real switch up for Audi, a new design DNA or Formensprache, design language. Audi North America, AudiUSA.com forward slash US. Audi AG, Audi.com forward slash en forward slash company dot html. Thank you all.